What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and the ARX160 is a god gun in hardcore playlists. Now I've been playing more hardcore in this COD than frankly any other COD. Now I think that this is a really good COD, but that doesn't mean it's perfect. There is certainly some really weird lane compensation going on, and to summarize it in core playlists, frankly a little too much for my taste. It seems that it takes me 10 bullets to kill someone, it takes someone else 2 bullets to kill me, and I find that a little too much. And that's probably because, you know, on their screen they probably were shooting me for more than 2 bullets, but on my screen it's just really, really frustrating and a leg competition needs a little bit of work. But in hardcore, it definitely seems that you win the majority of gunfights you deserve to win. The first thing about the ARX that makes it just so good is that it is a highly, highly accurate burst fire weapon. So with a single burst pretty much, you are able to dispatch enemies from across the map. And even if you have to engage them with a second burst, the recoil is so low that you can easily burst two, three, four times on an enemy and stay on target from across the map. Now secondly, the ARX also has the highest fire rate of all of the assault rifles. Now you may be saying, wait a minute, highest fire rate? There's no way, it's burst fire. But exactly, within the burst, within the three rounds of a burst, those three rounds are extremely close together. So, in a game type like Hardcore, where you kill in two to three bullets from pretty much any range, the fact that though the first three bullets out of the gun are extremely close together means that you're gonna beat out your time to kill is going to be way higher than almost any other assault rifle. I should also mention that the ARX 160 has the fastest freaking reload of any gun I've ever seen. It reloads blindingly fast. Now the closest competitor is definitely the IMR, however the IMR, its fire rate within the burst is not as high and the time between bursts is a little higher, so with something like the ARX, if you miss the first burst, you can just reacquire and shoot again, whereas the IMR, you are still within that delay, um, whereas if you're using the ARX, you would be able to kill the guy using the IMR. The IMR is just a little faster, however, if you're getting the, uh, the first burst kill, uh, the IMR is going to be pretty much no different and just as good as the ARX but there's just a little things and especially since the ARX is unlocked so much earlier than the IMR it's just so much easier to rely on like you can start using it very very quickly after prestiging. Now my setup for the ARX is firstly a silencer is extremely important in hardcore there's gonna be that one idiot in the comment section who says you don't need a silencer for hardcore you don't have a mini map well anyone who is worth their salt on hardcore runs UAV to display a minimap so if you're with a good team you're basically going to have a minimap for almost the entire game because people are going to be constantly calling in your UA their UAVs so not appearing on the radar by using a silencer is very very important and you'll often catch the other people who make the same argument you don't need a silencer you don't have a UAV you'll catch them off guard with your UAVs and your team's UAVs and be able to find them no problem. Now a sight is important but not necessary. I was running a sight um, almost always and then I got a variant of the ARX, a professional variant that had increased accuracy and uh, increased range and as a penalty I wasn't allowed to use an optic. So I've actually just been running that thing with the iron sights. The iron sights are very good. I got used to them very easily. So a sight might be important for some people but like for me I didn't find it absolutely essential. What is essential though is a quick draw grip. I would definitely run the quick draw grip. Just getting scoped in a sec a millisecond earlier is gonna mean the difference between life and death a lot. Like it is very important. So I would run this for with a sensor and quick draw grip, and you potentially can have a third attachment parabolic microphone would be very good. A sight if you need it, but for me I just run those two. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was a little bit hesitant to make it because now it means all of you guys are going to be running around with an ARX 160 versing me in hardcore, which is not ideal. But again, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. And as always, have a good day.